across the board. When you apply 3D printing and open source hardware design to a scientific tool, you drop the cost by 90 to 99%. And that makes it possible for you to do much more research, much more quickly, and help you build better equipment. When you're trying to set up a makerspace at a university, one of the most important things is the community that comes around it. And so in my lab, every individual researcher gets their own printer. We use Lulzbot for the majority of our own scientific tools. Everything from chemical mixers to make it easier to do chemistry. We do a lot of material science based around composites, say with recycled glass and recycled plastic and making 3D printing filament so you can print larger objects without them deforming. When you're working with new materials, you often have to alter the 3D printers. That's one of the reasons we really like Lulzbot, because we have complete control of the machines that we purchase. Everything from putting different beds on Lulzbots, different types of heat enclosures around it, uh, different types of fan ducting, and now we've got a research-grade tool that's frankly better than anything that you can get on the market. My name is Joshua Pierce. I'm a Michigan Tech professor, and I use Lulzbot 3D printers.